Hey, if the quality's a bit off, um, I'm on a phone instead of our camera because I forgot it. I was like, let's take the camera. Okay, it's a bit intense. <sighs> I have mixed feelings at the moment. Yeah. Our flat wants to get a Christmas tree. And I, all my life, have been brought up with plastic ones. But Lucas and Hannah have had real ones. And so this will be the first time we ever have a real Christmas tree. And we've just got in here and it, all I can see is lots of little babies. But only growing up to get cut down. Oh, no. 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 It's okay. Look at the babies. Look at them. How do I zoom? You can't zoom. I just feel sad that these trees are growing up just to be cut down. Like we don't have a dead thing in our house. But it's a Christmas tree, so it's different. No, it isn't. I know. I'm just trying to make you feel better. All I can see, I don't know what's wrong with me, but all I can see is like living things. Like I just think, you know, they're breathing and living, growing things. And the idea of cutting one down makes me feel sick. You know, people tie themselves to trees. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I never really thought about it because I've been the same as you. I've never had. I had well, our first year in New Zealand. We had a real Christmas tree, and it was just a hassle. It was like needles and shit everywhere. So we just got fake ones. After that, all I know is that Plumber's gonna get underneath it and start scratching it. That's just what she does. I just want you to make me feel better if you can, because it, I, I feel really sick about this. Maybe uh, I lost the war. I lost the war. I said I wanted plastic, and um, well, if you think of I them, as, the if you think of trees as people. Think of the one that we're cutting down as like a murderer, or like he's an evil tree, like he's done bad. Trees don't ha like have good or bad trees. They're all good trees. All they're doing is releasing oxygen for us to breathe and creating homes for birds and just doing their best. You look pretty shitty. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if we dad? You're no? the only person that will find fault with that. <laughs> if you don't want to grab any outfits, you'll never lock them. Thank you. Which one do you think is the least likely to be taken home? They'll all be sold, right? Yeah, I think. Well, it's going to be the last one in the garage. I, I met halfway by saying I'm okay with having a real tree, not a plastic tree. I would like the done. Okay, okay. Is it okay? Let's get the done. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just to let you know, also my brother and my mum are coming down, or coming up, I should say, from Wellington, bringing the dog, Inca, which I'm so excited about. My dog, my family dog. Uh, she is a Blue Mill Border Collie, if you wonder what breed she is, because she's got bright blue eyes, so she looks a bit like a husky, but she's a Border Collie, pure breed. Uh, she's the love of my life. I'm so excited. She's never been to Auckland before, so... um. I, I just can't wait. Mum promised me while I was living in Auckland that she'd bring Inca up, up once. Uh, and she has because she had to come up with a van anyway for the lamps to fit in. So um, I'm beyond excited. I can't wait for you guys to meet her. Uh, she is so incredible. I'm so nervous about her meeting plan, but I'm sure it's all going to be. Hopefully. Inca's pretty scared of cats and Plum's pretty stroppy. So hopefully they'll kind of just sort themselves out. Alright, I'll see you soon. And you can meet Inca. <laughs> Run away. You gonna come up? No, Inca. Good girl. We're at the Monkeys concert with my mum. It was a very late decision. We only found out they were coming yesterday, and mum always had her band before she died to see one yep. of the monkeys. Monkeys since I was nine. Since I was nine. I'm so excited. That's like me seeing Ricky Gervais or Phil Collins. So we came. We've got good seats. Here we are. They're monkeys, and there's the band right there. So we're quite close. And um, mum's gonna get a t-shirt. I am. Here I come. <laughs> Here we come. Thank <laughs> you.
seen them how do you feel oh it's okay <laughs> <laughs> we're at the fair it is very early we're just unloading everything now and by we i mean everyone but me obviously uh fingers crossed some lamps get sold today they're both really nervous both my mum and my brother so i really really hope it goes well and um i'll check in with you soon and i'll show you the setup first off this is the stool these are all christmas lamps Living Lights. Is there a website? Yes. There's a Facebook. Living Lights Facebook. And if the website, you can't buy these yet. But these are mum's lamps. all done yeah we um, managed to get ourselves some tickets and we kind of went on a whim we went just before they went on stage and fucking hell it was good it was the best concert ever <laughs> they look like death you know yes I do okay you do I think I'm getting worse from these vlogs like I started off being like oh I care what I look like on the internet and then I was like oh it's good to show like the, yeah. the bad sides and now it's like <laughs> well can you at least make some sort of effort Megan because I don't want to see that. It has been a busy past couple of days. We went to the monkeys. I met Chris Martin who was the nicest celebrity I've ever met. I've met we've been lucky enough to meet a few mm. and um, Ed Sheeran and Tiny Temper always held that reign for me. I only met Tiny Temper once and was in the elevator and I got some burger fuel. And he's like, oh man, that smells really nice. What is that? And I said, it's burger fuel, do you want a Kermit chip? And he goes, nah, it's all yours. That's my only interaction with Tiny Temper, in an elevator with some burgers. But Chris Martin, what a man. He walked from his hotel to our studio. He walked, not a taxi, not a private limo. He walked up a hill and like quite a distance to get yeah. to our studio and he walked in and he shook every single person's hand in the room. It was awesome. And then I got the shittest Snapchat video with him ever, which just makes me cringe so bad looking back on it. Right. Chris Martin, he's the most wonderful celebrity oh, we've ever had. Right. No, 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 it's a video, sorry. Um, yeah. Oh God, it was so awful. What else has happened? I went to the monkeys with mum. That was awesome. That was such a cool concert. It was so funny how many Older people didn't get up and dance, but the last two songs, everybody was up and dancing. It was great. In my in our last vlog, if you watched it, I told you about a game that we have to show you. It's called Midnight Outburst. I am obsessed with this game so much. It started on Kickstarter, best website ever. And I took it to my work party. And I'd had a couple of drinks and I decided to email the creators of the game. Because that's what I do apparently when I'm drunk. Yeah, most people like text their exes or they send a stupid abusive text to their family or their boss. Meg emails creators of board games. Yes I do. So I emailed them saying, hey guys, just want to let you know, this is my favourite game ever. I love it. 
I think it's great. You know, I just raved about it. And I also asked a question about their next game because I saw they were advertising a game called Midnight Taboo. Um, and I was like, where can I buy it? I don't know where I can get it. I really want it. And kind of rambled on a bit. I woke up the next morning with an email back from Brian Hirsch. Google him. He is probably a billionaire by now. He is of Hirsch Games. Like Mattel, like something brothers i forgot the other one yeah i was googling it today so the hirsch games have like brought in minimum 850 million dollars of revenue from their games and me got an email from him and i got an email back from brian i couldn't believe it and he was like hi megan it's brian here i wanted to email you personally back and thank you for your email raving about our game i was like oh my god what did i do last night what did I do? And then he's going to send me a copy of Midnight Taboo for free because I like the game so much. I just can't believe it. It was the best Christmas miracle I've ever, ever, ever had. Tip of the day. If you want something for free, get drunk and email the person who created it and you might be lucky. It's at this point we should probably just say, no, we haven't been paid. We're no, just, Meg's just no, very passionate, I'm very about, passionate this about this game. This game. <laughs> I should be the spokeswoman for Midnight Outburst. I bloody love it. Anyway. Drunk. Rambled, totally rambled. Dreams come true. Love you. We'll see you next week. Bye.